y'all um before you get too excited actually hold on let me let me grab some oil real quick okay sorry if it's loud it's the middle of the day but i have my Adjoa beauty blue tansy serum and we're gonna take these braids down so as you can tell by the title i want to start really documenting my hair journey and that's kind of why i started this channel you know first it was because i didn't really know there were a lot of people creating content that had texture like mine but there there are tons of naturalistas and natural hair content creators but i think i moved away from like the actual natural hair journey and you know if you've been here for a while you know this but in case this is your first time here um it's been quite a while since i've gotten a trim it is today's day is november 9th 2023 and my last trim was february 23rd 24th something like that of 2023 so it's been uh, far too long i never go that long without getting my hair trimmed and this is probably the longest my hair has looked in a while. I won't say it's necessarily the healthiest, only because I haven't seen a professional in such a long time and I've kind of spoiled myself with that. I I don't have that relationship like a lot that we see on social media where people don't trust stylists or they don't look forward to going to the salon. I look forward to it. I have such a great relationship with Kendall, my stylist. Um, she encourages me to not come that often to um, get my hair trimmed. She actually told me I could find someone in Charlotte, but I don't want to. I like going to her. And even in, like, it's past time. Like, you can definitely tell that my ends, they need to be trimmed. Like, my hair looks long, but it's just not healthy. So... I am going to color my hair. You will see what color I decide by the end of this video, but this will basically be not an entire month, like hair journey, documenting, journaling type situation, but you will see up until, I just wanna do this monthly. I am definitely like talking and thinking at the same time and it, I'm so ADHD as an adult. So that will be the focus of the video. So even if I don't record every single wash day, I'm going to try and just like give you guys an update here in one video. And I just kind of want to see the journey that my hair takes, especially with me coloring it. And I'm excited to see if the things that I think are working are really working if I need to switch some things up and just you know what really needs to be done I'm gonna take a few of these down and we're gonna talk about this hair and all the good stuff but this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would so give me a minute okay It is so loud in my apartment, but okay, my hair is down. And I did this on stretched hair. This is the hair from trying out my Dyson Air Straight. And I flat ironed it in everything, but it was really frizzy. And I had somewhere to be um, a couple days later. So what I ended up doing was I took the pattern moisture milk and the mousse and turned it into a braid out. So this, I did this probably like five days ago and I, I didn't use any water because I wasn't sure of how my hair would revert. So fast forward to today and my hair is just giving very much mullet. Like my hair is just so long in the back. It's not reverting like some of the other areas. As you can see, the second time that I braided my hair, I used water like i i wanted my hair to revert i wanted more volume than i obviously have now but even like you can see some of my ends are still straight so i don't know if i damaged my hair if it's just going to take like a good wash day but just putting water on my hair and even products that 
contained water isn't completely shrinking my hair back up like look at like the the kitchen just isn't really reverting at all it looks like i have a mullet so that is going on also my scalp my scalp is so flaky i can feel like a buildup of flakes dandruff whatever in certain areas of my scalp so that's definitely something that i have always like had but it's something that i really want to handle because i i feel like i could i could go longer in between wash days if my scalp didn't flake and i've been trying different things trying different things but i haven't really been sticking to anything and next year 2024 i'm just gonna go to a dermatologist if i can't figure it out but for right now i am resorting back to greasing my scalp not something that i'm going to do every day by any means because i hate feeling like when i place my head somewhere i'm going to leave like a grease or oil stain like i hate that that's one reason why i don't use as many oils and butters as i used to because like it's so embarrassing um but i did use this mm, yesterday i think so maybe like once in between wash days just to like soothe my scalp and it did but my scalp was still kind of itchy and i i could get the build up of the grease and the skin sorry like on my nails and like i said there are just some places where i can just feel patches of dandruff so i just always feel like my hair looks good and i hate to have to wash it but i i don't like to see flakes standing in my head and like you can see at this part right here like i already have some flakes and i just i don't like that i don't like that at all so that's something that i want to focus on this month i am making sure that i'm drinking my water i am taking my iron pills as of right now um I probably need to pick up another multivitamin i think i'm almost out but i think that probably has a lot to do with my hair so we are going to see throughout this month what my hair looks like up until i get my hair colored and even after that so i think this is a really great idea if you guys enjoy this video like please leave it in the comments so i can like make this a monthly thing but yeah i feel like this looks good though on blown out hair like it makes me want to do braid outs on blown out hair all the time okay well let me go because i have things that i need to do and i'm gonna come back in a couple days probably right before i wash my hair or afterwards and kind of see and give you guys an update <laughs> so i forgot to come back and let you guys see my hair before I ended up washing it. But it lasted like 10 days. Um, this is going to be the last time I straighten my hair before um, going to get my silk press. Obviously, I don't know how to wrap hair because what is this? Ugh. So, I stayed up so late last night wrapping my hair. I mean flat ironing my hair um i used basically like briogeo um what else did i use i can't remember i did a video on it though so that's probably up by now and links in the description box well it's up for sure because this is going to be the end of the month but let's talk about my hair my scalp okay okay day one still clean I did a triple cleanse it kind of. I did a pre poo pre poo treatment, pre poo treatment with the Amika. Then I used a clarifying shampoo, and then I used my Briogeo shampoo because I really want to make sure my scalp like stays as fresh as possible. So I think the plan while my hair is straight is to grease my scalp with that donna's recipe if i need to and if it gets super oily i'll just use dry shampoo to try and soak up some of that oil that's the best plan that i have but i have got to keep my scalp hydrated i guess let's see 
this is what my ends are looking like it's you know they're frail as they should be i don't know what split ends look like but like i, I don't feel like oh i see a couple I see a few split ends and a few fairy knots. We're going to see, we see how long my hair is now, right? And we're going to see how much I end up getting trimmed off. Oh, let's brush this. See what this length is giving back here, okay? So I'm not going to like officially measure it but i just want to take note of where my hair is before the trim and versus after i get it colored and trimmed so here we are i'll just have to remember to put this barbie sweatshirt on where where about it her fro okay i don't think my hair is gonna grow too too much in the next couple of weeks i mean i would hope so but we are just going to keep that mark and see how much needs to go but yeah so what Fred is looking like I never would have thought that my hair would be this long but I feel like I feel like I could be doing better at retaining length if I just stick to a routine so I think doing these videos will absolutely help these ends feel not the best but yeah this was today Monday I think today is November 13th day one after wash day we'll come back and we'll see how long it takes for my hair to start flaking y'all i haven't even had a chance to move y'all because it is the very next day it's tuesday the 15th and i can just feel oh where did it go i can feel like flaking like it just feels this can we see anything i don't really see anything but it feels hard and it feels like crusted over. You know like when you have a scab and it feels crust. Like like it's scabbing. That is what my scalp feels like right here. And I know like I feel like if I pick it it's going to flake. Watch. That is what is happening on my scalp. So maybe I need to use a medicated shampoo. Or maybe I should have put grease on it. Like I said I was going to do. But I was just massaging my scalp. And I felt that. And that that is like genuinely. Generally. What am I talking about? Where my flaking comes from. Yeah. And like I said, I feel this two days after washing my hair. So I'm going to put a little hair grease on it, I guess, because I did take some of the serum and just kind of massage it lightly because I don't want to have greasy hair. But I'm going to have to hit this. I, I have another spot in here that I felt last night. So, yeah, I'm going to try and grease it and see how that does. All right, it's Monday, November 20th. So it's exactly, well, not exactly, but a week ago, I straightened my hair. Um, this is what my scalp is looking like, like just straight up flaking. And I was going to attempt, like, I'm just moving the hair and there's more flakes. And I was going to attempt to, like, extend this and... um turn this into a braid out because so many people wanted to see the braid out that I achieved but I've just been in a mood and I haven't really wanted to do my hair and now like I need to wash it because it's I I am not a fan of my hair or my scalp flaking like this and me going out in public like I'm about to run to the grocery store and I'm just going to make this as quick as possible because the, the flakes are standing. So, um, I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update. I, I have not been greasing my scalp. Like, I haven't greased my scalp in probably four or five days. I just, I don't know. I just don't really like putting oil 
a grease on my scalp. Now, I did use the Adua Beauty Serum, like, on my part yesterday. And, I mean... I guess it did something but I did just purchase do I have it right here maybe it's in here I did just purchase this uh, scalp serum from pattern and it says that you can use this and like leave it so maybe if I wash my hair tonight and do a wash and go I can try this on my scalp for the next few days uh, because I just it's got tea tree pink clay and lemon peel oil <sighs> so listen like I don't want to necessarily like exfoliate my scalp and lift it on a regular basis it says use weekly so maybe i'll use this a few days into it maybe right before wash day i don't know i just want it to be over anyways i'm wasting time um i'll show you guys like what my scalp looks like after i wash it today and if i decide to do a wash and go and all that good stuff if you saw my video where i did the curl days and trey Lux mousse wash and go combo this is actually the next day where i said that i ended up washing my hair so as you can see like the hair still had volume it's just way more fluffy than i really liked so i'm gonna try and stretch it just to get through the day but as far as my hair looks, you can see that it reverted quite nicely. I do have a few ends that look a little straight, but I put heat on my hair three times since the end of October. And so I'm just kind of glad that my hair is still intact. The coils look good, um, just a little loose in the front, but I'm kind of used to that by now. For this curl days wash and go, my wash day wasn't really the best, but I did end up using Head and Shoulders Bare. I believe it was the hydration one. I don't have it in front of me, and I mentioned it a little bit at the end of this video, but I'm going to start incorporating it into my every week wash day routine in December because it has an anti-dandruff active ZPT, which is zinc pythereon, I think, which is good for treating dandruff and it's head and shoulders. So I believe that's something that I can kind of like believe in and it felt quite soothing. I might actually do an entire video on that shampoo or at least mention it in a an upcoming wash day but that felt nice and then I just used I believe like Olaplex number five so I did not deep condition like I said but my coils came back I apologize for the footage not really matching what I'm talking about but when I did wash my hair I used Olaplex four and five and then I just did a one product wash and go using the Mish tropical oasis gel I feel like I've talked about it a lot which is why I didn't really film it or record it but I should have but that is the hair that you will see in the next clip hey y'all so it's the day before I go to the salon and I wanted to kind of evaluate my hair and let you know what I think. Um, so yeah, so there are parts that are a little straight on the ends, especially in this section. Like, I don't know if you can see that right there, but I'm not too worried about it because that's gonna be trimmed anyway. So. Um, even though I have put quite a bit of heat on my hair this last month or so, um, I feel like Fred is in really good shape. I'm trying to like, can y'all see? Like this is like a day four or five wash and go. I use the Mish um, Tropical Oasis. And so... I feel like for it to be in this wash and go state, I feel like it's pretty um, shrunken. Like the elasticity is great. Of course in the front, it's, it's gotten a little looser over the years between the heat, the bleach, my age, all that good stuff. But for the most part, I feel like my hair is in 
really good condition in order to have it colored tomorrow. So today, oh my scalp, my scalp, <laughs> not the best. Is that another gray hair? Oh no, it's probably just product. But um, as far as wash day, today I'm just doing Olaplex. I'm doing straight Olaplex and I'm, I'm gonna do a K18 treatment. I'm not filming that, but I'm just letting y'all know that's what I'm doing. Um, I think I have a wash, like as far as cleanses go, I think I have some that I just kind of want to stick to and see how they do for my scalp. Not sure if I've mentioned this already in this video, but if my scalp issues don't seem to be getting any better, I am going to go to a dermatologist that's top of my to-do list of 2024. I'm just also trying to see if there's something that I'm doing that is making it worse but i feel like i have had this scalp issue my entire life i'm going to the dermatologist years ago but nonetheless back to this um yeah i feel like my hair is in really good shape and will be perfectly fine with me getting a silk press a trim and color tomorrow so tomorrow is actually the last day of the month so i will kind of show you guys what my hair looks like once i leave the um appointment but what a month it has been y'all all right let me get started on my hair okay guys i am finally home it has been such a long day so obviously your girl was rocking a little cowboy copper type situation shout out to kendall for chefing up a color for me um it looks I look different on camera. My camera settings are all jacked up. Like, I don't know what's going on. But, um, I didn't do a length check before. So, I mean, my hair is a little less than armpit length. I knew a lot of it needed to go. She shaped my face. I noticed that I had some breakage in the front of my hair. And I don't know if that was from the blonde from before or... I just hadn't been to the salon in a long time. I had braids for the first time in a really long time. So I'm sure there were a lot of different factors going into that. Um, Kendall really took her time. She had to go back because the color did not take on my blonde at first. So her being so patient and just so good to me, she really had to retouch a lot of the ends and like this whole section right here but i love it it's a little to me it's darker in real life my i look really pale on camera i don't know but um i love it it's so cute i cannot wait i don't know y'all this might be like a permanent color like I really like this and I feel like this will look good all year long so y'all know I don't know how to pin curl I don't really know how to wrap hair it's been such a long day but I wanted to show y'all November this is what I was looking like y'all saw my hair throughout the entire month I can't wait to see what December brings I think going forward yes you will still get natural hair content from me but i definitely want to be on more of a regimen when it comes to wash day routines still going to be trying out new products because i have new products on the way as we speak but definitely just want to make sure that i'm taking care of my hair properly and my scalp and you know just trying to treat fred the best that i can and like i said getting back to the root of my channel so i can Staying here and talk to you guys all night but thank you guys so much for watching if this video was a little off just know that um we're gonna keep this going so give me some ideas tell me what you want to see in the next month and i will see you guys in the next one